Alexis and I'm back at work here in the root cellar. Things are going pretty well. I did run out of Romex wire the other day. That's the wire that runs through the uh, all the conduit here. I was using a 500 foot spool from you know having built the house. I ran a little bit short and I was waiting a few days for new stuff to come in the mail. Uh, it has come, but in the meantime, uh, I was working on other things. I created uh, some of the conduit pieces, uh, especially this one. It's a little bit more on the complex side, but I was able to get this conduit piece in here this morning. I just uh, ran this piece of Romex through it, and it's really important if you are going to be uh, pre-setting up uh, conduit and you plan on putting Romex through it, like I'm going to be doing right here, that uh, you make sure you don't have too many bends in it. Uh, you know, more than a couple of bends can get a little bit tricky. Uh, and also, you got to make sure that the direction you push the, uh, the wire through is not going to be difficult for you. This is a union right here. This is the male piece. Here's a female piece it goes into right there. Now, if I tried to run wire up through it this way, it's going to hit on corner of this pipe and it's going to be difficult to get through. So as I'm running wire through here, it needs to come from this side and then go down in through that way. So that's about what I'm, I'm just about to do right here. Like I said, I pre-ran uh, this this morning through that section and now I'm going to run this right through here. Just kind of show you the process a little bit. So this is going through there. Okay, and I can kind of pull it through. All right. I'm going to try to make it so the words are facing away, just to keep it beautiful. I want this place to be beautiful. And I'm going to put a little bit of this multi-purpose cement, which is good for ABS and PVC and a bunch of other weird things, on this guy here. Pretty light. This stuff, a little bit goes a long way. And it's not like this place is going to be exposed to really any water anyway. Just to kind of hold it together. Okay. Put it on, sliding it in. On bigger pipes, you want to apply the cement to both pieces, but for the small ones, it's okay to just put it on the uh, on the uh, nail piece going in. Okay, so I got that in there, and the next step is I'm going to. Did I do that wrong? No, I didn't do that wrong. That's okay. <laughs> I was thinking because I'm. Uh, I, I you know I, I'm giving advice on this, but I still find it confusing. <laughs> as to which direction these things are supposed to go through. Okay, so this is going through here. Sliding down in there. Oh, is it banging at the box? Okay, it got through the box. I want to have it continue down to the next box down there. Come on, yo. Okay. You know, these video runs, they only run Five minutes. This seems like one of those ones where it's going to time out before I'm finished. My apologies if that's the case. All right, come on. Okay, and it made it. good. Okay, well, I gave it a little more than I needed to. Come on. All right. So we're closing in on it right there. All right. So now I've got this little board to kind of prop the whole thing up as soon as it's ready. For now, I'm going to use my knee for that. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of the cement around here. It's good if you give these guys a little twist as they go through as well. But for this application, and it's not going to be exposed to weather, so it's not super important, but, you know. Okay, there we go. So, let's kind of simulate that little twist there. All right, and that's just about it right there. All right. I marked off on the on the wall where the heights of these things are supposed to be, and put that there. Okay, that should that should do it. That's okay for it to uh, kind of set up and everything. Okay, I gave myself probably six inches more than I really needed there, but that's totally fine. So, like I said, wire comes all the way down to here. It's going to return. We're going to do the switch up here, switchable outlet right there, and it's going well. This is going to be nice. That's it. Thanks for watching.